Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekend love readings. These will be from the 20th of March through to the 22nd of March. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this weekend, that's okay. Hit the notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Okay, I am using the Thelema deck this weekend. She's been very talky. That is great. Okay, love messages, please, for Aquarius. The last one is still not Aquarius. Let's hope it's good, huh? Oh. And we start with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. You may be feeling as if you've missed an opportunity here. King of Swords. One more. Mm, gosh. All right. Aquarius. You're hiding from your own intuition here. Like you, you have almost gone into damage control, it feels like, with this King of Swords. Like you may have missed this opportunity and now you're just like, fine, I don't even, I don't believe in love, I don't need love. And you're cutting yourself off from your higher self and your yeah, and your intuition and your emotions here. Um, high priestess in reverse, please. Mm. Um, you may be actually pretending like you're really glad about this situation or not, not having this situation, like you've actually won um, with the Three of Cups here. I think, one more please, you may have actually communicated with someone and you didn't get the response or you didn't get a response and that's why now you're like, oh God, no, nah, it's done. You didn't get the response you're expecting and you regret communicating with them now here with this Eight of Swords in reverse as well. Um, you may have actually confessed your feelings or told them how you felt or given too much too soon um, and yeah you, you're regretting it and I think it's because they didn't give you they didn't give you an ace of cups response they either gave you nothing or they gave you something really non ace of cupsy and almost as a defense mechanism you're like I'm fine I don't need them anyway I wasn't really that interested um, with three of cups here going out maybe just continuing to pretend like everything's all good um with your friends telling your friends that you're fine king of swords please it's really happening with the king of swords yeah that's what's really happening with the king of swords nine of cups in reverse so you feel like you've missed out you feel like you um, didn't get your wish fulfilled. You're feeling quite unfulfilled about this situation, I think. Um, and that's all happening behind the scenes. What's the most likely outcome here for Aquarius? Three of Wands. Okay. I think that you will continue to wait for them um but that is going to put a bit of a toll on you leave you a little bit confused here with the ten of wands two of swords you don't want to wait for them but i think you feel like in your heart of hearts here your heart won't stop you yeah you don't really want to be on your own without them either nine of pentacles um it's not really the future that you kind of had your heart set on i think that you will Although you're outwardly saying that, no, you're fine, I think that inwardly you're going to hold a torch for them probably for quite some time. And that's okay. Um, you'll learn lessons from that. Most of that is tied to you just don't want to be without them. You don't want to be on your own without them. Advice, please. Oh, advice for Aquarius, please. King of Swords. Uh, 
Oh, it's always hard when they do this to me. But it's good for you guys. Oh, wow. The, the advice is super clear. Like, it's just advice I don't want to give because I can see what's happening down here. But I don't really get a choice. Okay, that's good. All right, so spirit's being really clear. You need to actually cut this person off. Like, and I mean really cut them off. Cold turkey, cut them off. None of this sitting in King of Swords, being smart and um, outwardly, you know, I'm in control of all these emotions and I'm okay and I don't care. Um, it's got to be a swift cut, brutal, like block them on everything because that's actually going to be the only way to stop the pain over here, right, is to cut them off cold turkey. You need to stop investing in this situation because, again, this is the thing that's going to get make you successfully over it. It's going to bring you better opportunities. You're going to be happier long term um, if you kind of cut this out early. I know from this it's not feeling like that, um, but that's the advice that Spirit's coming through with here um, on the advice deck. So, yeah, sorry about that, Aquarius. Of romance angels, please, for Aquarius. I bet your past life comes up. That was finances and career, by the way, um, Aquarius. Because I feel like that's probably why you're still holding on. Again, romance angels, they never lie. It says free yourself for those of you that complain that it's in reverse. Um, free yourself. Exactly what Spirit's saying here. Spirit's saying you need to cut this person off. I know you don't want to. I know it's hurting. I know that you kind of want to wait for them and hope that maybe they'll come back. Spirit's saying chop it. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Please chop it. Okay, that's going to be the, the best way for you to avoid this ongoing traumatic pain that you're actually in right now. Um, and that means block them on everything. And I am not someone that does that or says that very often. But in this case, it is a case of block, delete, heal. You have to do it. It's like for your own salvation. All right, Aquarius, I hope that this weekend ends up a bit better. Um, and we get to this nice and quickly, this guy. Um, but I will see you back here for the weekly reads. I'll talk to you then. Bye.